God forgive us, O oh Lord, for all of our iniquities. We know we've sinned against you, not words and in action. We are here to ask you for forgiveness, O oh God. Cleanse us, wash us, purify us, for we have sinned against you. If we say we haven't sinned against you, then we are lies. Cleanse us. In the same spirit that we ask for forgiveness from, the, from our Lord, you know, we also have to turn around, around and forgive those that have offended you. Right? We hold grudges, we fight every day, you have wahalas every day. With loved ones, with people around you, forgive. Whether we are enemy, we have to forgive. So ask God to help to give you that power to forgive those that have offended you. Take it. God, we ask of your forgiveness and also Lord the Almighty, give us the power to forgive those that, those that may have offended us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's ask for his spirit to be in our midst this morning. Let's ask of the lion of the tribe of Judah to be in our midst this morning. The ones that roar and the world trembles. Not those fake ones, the fake lions. <laughs> God, oh Lord, we ask of your spirit this morning. For without your spirit, everything we do this morning will be in vain. Two or three are gathered in your name. Yeah. You will be there. And you're so low. We are two. We are more than two and three. And we know your God that you are here. In our voices, let's cover the service under the precious blood of the Lamb. In everything that we do this morning. Lead us through from the introduction, from the music, from the choir, testimonies, announcements, the word of oh God. Lead us, lead us, oh God. Heavenly Father, as we start this service, start with us. Amen. We cover everyone here under the precious blood of the Lamb. Those that are still making their way through God, we pray, oh God, may you protect them. And may you guide them, oh God. May you drive them to meet us in peace, safe, oh God, so that we all can worship and praise you this morning. Amen. Lead us through in everything we do this morning. And we continue to pray, oh God, for your ministry. The love, the growth. Our leader in household. May you continue to give him God, your wisdom to lead us. Be with us Amen. and with us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen.
you, Abba Father, we worship you, we worship you, Lord. Abba Father, we worship you, Lord. Abba Father, we worship you, Lord. Abba Father, we worship you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your unknown Oh, blessed be you, Abba Father, we thank you, thank you. Oh, Abba Father, we Lord, we thank you. Let's worship his holy name. Let's, 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 let's flow, let's flow, let's flow. Let's focus on him. Let's focus our attention on him. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship your holy name. We give you all the praise. For you alone is worthy of praise. For you alone is worthy of praise. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah, we give you the praise. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your mind. We thank you for your power. Father, we give you all the praise. Abba, Father, we
reason why we sing, you are the reason why we live. You are the reason why we dance, you are the reason why we clap our hands. You are the reason why we are gathered here. Lord, we thank you for your presence. Father, we worship your holy name. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
money that as we have thousands of ways to appreciate God, but this money we are going to give to God that God we thank you that we started this January 1st. Today is almost to the end of the month that you have kept us and you will continue to keep us. Let's give to God this money. Yes, God will continue to keep us. Oh yeah, let's give everybody. Give, give, give. Put your hands into your pocket. I am nobody asked me to do this, but that's what my spirit is telling me. That God can keep us and he made us alive from January to February. I mean January to today. We can, we, can we remember when we did January 4th? Yes. It's almost to the end of the month. But it's God that has kept us. And he will continue to keep us. So that is a covenant. That God, if you made me to see towards the end of this month, I will see the end of the year in Jesus' name. Amen. And I will be alive to give unto your glory in good health and sound mind in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll call on Mr. Alex to bless the church and also this morning. I want to rise up and pray. Father, we thank you. Dear Father, we give you all the praise, we give you all the honor, we give you all the adoration. We thank you for the privilege to give. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done as we enter the year. Now we are at the end of this month, and the year is running, and many things are happening, and many waters have gone under the bridge, even in these few days of the month. But we thank you for the grace that we are alive and that the opportunity you have given us for us to seek you and love you more. Father, we seek you that we exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, out of that which you have given us, we have brought a token to you. Lord, accept it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it be acceptable in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every sin, O oh Lord, we ask forgiveness in Jesus' name. Amen. Every iniquity that could hinder our giving, that could make it not be acceptable, Father, we plead forgiveness in Jesus' name. Amen. Let your grace speak for us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Let your mercy speak for us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, and as we have given, Lord, we believe that multiple shall be brought back to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, it says that a press down, shaking together and running over shall be returned unto you. Father, with faith, we receive this in Jesus' name. Amen. I will pray that for everyone that could not give, for one reason of want or the other, Lord, you will make provision in Jesus' name. Amen. For you are the one that make a way in the desert and water, and, and way in the Red Sea and water in the desert. Lord, you will make a way in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, we worship you. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. For in Amen. Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise you, the Lord, oh my soul. This is the day I made.
you are all in all. Let's lift our voice and say, Daddy, I'm here to return all the glory back to you and say thank you to you, oh God, for all that you have been doing and for all that you have for me. Thank you for that good plan. Thank you for that good plan that I asked for you. Thank you for that good plan that you asked for your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that good plan that you have for my children that will surely come to pass. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say, Father, visit me this morning. You are here in our midst. Jesus, you are here. The Bible says, when two or three gathers in my, in my name, he said, there I will be. Jesus, that is here. Say, Daddy, visit me. Touch my life. Let's pray. Jesus is here this morning. 
open your heart to pray. Tell him to touch you. Tell him to touch your life. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Father, visit me this morning. Visit my life. Visit my foundation. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Visit me, oh God. Somebody pray. Pray for the divine visitation of heaven. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, visit me, O God. Somebody pray, visit my heart in the name of Jesus. Visit me to transform me, visit me to change me in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray for the divine visitation of God. In the, that, that the Lord, you have a visit your situation in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. My Lord and my God, I need your divine visitation in the name of Jesus. I need your divine thought in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. That what is true, which I believe Jesus Christ is here. He said that let me experience you. If the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is saying that, I will not give you part of it because it is not good enough. If the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is here in our midst, and we don't feel it, his presence is not known to us. It's not good. It's too much for us not to experience the presence of him. Jesus Christ is too much. If the president is coming, if President Biden is coming here this morning, everybody will know that somebody is here. Yeah. Hello? All right. Everybody around this city will know that somebody is here. Much more our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord. Let me explain your presence this morning. Daddy, let me explain your presence this morning. The presence of you. In the name of your, the presence of you that will bring deliverance to my life, that will bring healing to my life. Somebody pray, let me explain the presence of you. Open your heart to pray, lift your voice, my Lord. And when the boss is finished, in the name of Jesus, let me explain the presence of you. Let your presence transform me. Open your heart to pray, 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 pray. Lift your voice, the Lord God of heaven. Let me explain the presence of you in this place this morning. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Rakato le me ketelebo, masoto le me sekeleba, lakate le me sekeleba. Repatu le Lord, and let me explain the presence of you. So somebody pray, let me explain the presence of you in my life, in my heart, in my own. The presence of you, O God, in this church. In the name of Jesus, let us explain the presence of you. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray. Amen. Tell the Lord that the Lord take away my body and cast it on you. You know, some certain body can give a, a person a sleepless night when someone is not able to sleep. Some people can't able to sleep because they are troubled in the spirit. They are troubled in their mind. And I've spoken to many of those in their life. There are a lot of people that there are a lot of troubled people in life. Where they can't sleep, they can't do anything, they just trouble in their spirit, they don't know way out. There are certain things that can happen to man that overwhelm them. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Daddy, take away the body this morning. I cast it on you. In that, let's begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Lift your voice and tell Lord Daddy, give away my body this morning. I cast it on you. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Take away my body this morning. That is that bothers your heart. That is that trouble your heart. Say that it take away my body this morning. I cast it on you. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Take away my body this morning. Cast it on you. In the name of Jesus. Solution to everybody. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Say, take away my body this morning. I cast it on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boss at you. That it take away our body this morning. We cast it on you. In that name of Jesus. Over our life. In Jesus' name. We pray. Say, Lord, let me live with joy. He says, they that came to Jesus that very day. They that came to him. They have different kind of issues. The one that is probably his heart is there. The one that have no rent to pay, the one that have black, the one that sick. But one thing happened to them all. It's a different issue that came to him. But one thing happened to every one of them all. They came with 
different kind of issue in their life. But one thing happened to both of every one of them. There's one thing that happened. They went back with joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one that is there, that is his life is sad. But every one of them went back with joy. That must happen to everyone today. Yeah. As I leave this place, let my joy be full. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Let my joy be full, O oh God. In the name of shake it above. As I leave this place, O oh God. And I am my Lord and my God. Let my joy be full. Open your heart to pray. Pray, 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 pray. I Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I hear a voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone that Satan is in any areas of life in this very week, let's pray for this week. And I will say, in any area, that, in any way that Satan is lying with in, in this week, we will suffer the battle day and be here because in your city, we send the fire of God. To clear the way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In any areas of life that Satan is lying with in this very week that won't step in. And everyone that is here, we clear the way. Amen. Every member that is not here, in any areas of life Amen. that Satan is lying with in this week, we clear the way. Can we lift our voice and begin to pray? In the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray to God. In any area that Satan is lying with in this week, in our life, in our home, those that are here, those that are not here, in this very week, in Kapatoyaba, we clear the way, we send the blood of Jesus Christ to clear far off, our family far off, our families that we hear in the name of Jesus. Those in any areas of life that Satan is lying waiting for us in the name of Jesus, we clear the way, we have victory over every satanic plan in the name of Jesus. We have victory over every satanic plan. This week shall be a glorious week. This week shall be a wonderful week. No bad news. No sorrow. No disappointment. In the name of Jesus, our joy shall be full. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord will pray. Before we have our sister, let it be an instrument of honor. In your hand, oh God. Amen. Let it be an instrument of honor in your, in your hand, oh God. He said that in the vessel, he said in the house, there are many instruments there. One for honor and one for what? That it is honor. Now you pray, Lord, make me a vessel of honor for your kingdom. Make me a vessel of honor in your place, oh God. Let's lift our voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, make me that vessel of honor. Let me surrender myself, O oh God. Help me to yield to be a vessel of honor in your hand, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Pray that God should help you to be a vessel of honor in the name of Jesus. But in the Katayama, the Repatoliama sent the Lord. My Father, let me be a vessel of honor in your house. In the name of Jesus, in your house, oh God. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. You will be a vessel of honor. The Lord will help us to be a vessel of honor. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. You can have your seat quickly. You know, I don't know why I'm asking. How many of you, when you are praising God, you are praising, you are praising Jesus, or you are praising God? Somebody sit on the seat. I don't know if you do that. You are taking somebody from the seat. Somebody is in front of you. Somebody is that an image standing somewhere that you are worshiping that image. I don't know if you do that. You do that sometimes. That you are seeing that somebody is on the white throne. Sitting down. Where do you get the picture from? Is 
Ministry of Transport is at the right hand of power. That means it's taking the place of power. That means in the position of power. Right hand of God means power. Right hand represents strength. When they when you see right hand represents strength. So when Jesus Christ sitting in the right hand of God, you know God has his right hand. Jesus Christ sitting in the he is sitting on the left. No, he is sitting in the place of authority. If God can come in a different way to me, I, I don't I've ever disputed that. You know, so if he comes, you know, uh, uh, he can always he can visit me anytime. Uh, I've just had a flashback in one experience I have many years ago that I still see even up to now. Sometimes I can ever since then that follows me. Ever since that day, I just that thing never departs from me. You know, but he comes sometimes like that, you know, you know I we are just ordinary people. Even up to now, sometimes I hear it like, like it is something. Uh, I, I always I hear it in my ears. And it happened one day. It happened to them. I, I don't explain that before. It happened one day, and since then, I, we are always. So it's not like I see in it. You know, I you know why. Well, I don't know why I'm asking the question. I just come and ask, do you worship God and put your name on your heart? But the Bible tells us God is a spirit. So no matter how you have been sitting watching, worshiping your God, you will just let God continue to worship him. Because make sure you worship him in truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So whatever you need to put before God, give him. God don't have a seat. Yes. God don't have a seat. There's no seat. Why I'm saying this? There's other religion that say there's a seat, there's a throne. That God has legs, God has hands, God has one, one hand, one, two hand in one place. Yes. God has one, one hand in one place. And choose to manifest itself in the first time of it, which he did in the book of Genesis. God himself showed himself physical being, but God is beyond a physical being, is beyond somebody sitting on one seat. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Is beyond somebody sitting on one seat. We don't know that if you say God is sitting on one seat, we don't know whether the throne is uh, the throne of God. I mean, the throne of God represents a place to judge. When, when the Bible talking about a, a throne, a seat, that means it, it's talking about a place of power. It's talking about a place, a throne to judge, a place of authority. You know, do you know that your heaven is probably more closer than what you think? None of us will think heaven is just far away. And heaven is far away is not far away. It's something, it's things of the spirit where your eyes is not open to it. Hello? All right. So heaven is probably closer than what you are thinking. 
is going just 20, 20 miles, but heaven is just nearby because your eyes is not open. God never opened your eyes and see what is around you. The eyes of that very man was open and he saw the host of heaven. Hello? Aye. So, one thing that just want to encourage you, how you want to get out of this, be in the spirit to get connected with God. What I say? Yeah. No matter how, whether you are sitting somebody on the throne, sitting, standing up, somebody running, no matter how you want to sit, but be in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, but when the Bible talks about the hand of God, the seat of God, it's not, it's just, it's not the same thing, just for us to look at it. No, in the image of us, our human being. He's trying to listen. So if I call you at in the matter is so called the name of the people before you are at this studio, that same studio. When it's not talking to you, I saw that same and that's how I was seeing him. And that's why I said let me tell you the story. I've seen someone that talks to me, like old man. To be in the place to able to able to, and I've seen an, a, another place where God speaks, where even he just talks like light, mm -hmm. like like light, like light that some people do. And myself, I can't even see mm -hmm. yes, that light. So, he, uh, so it depends how you want to. He can come in any form. He can use your pastor to talk to you. So he's trying to relate to you what is coming. But God is beyond. The way we think. That's what I want you to get out of this. God is beyond. That's why I want to see him bigger than everything in your life. Praise the Lord. What I say, God is what? Bigger. Beyond what you see. So you can see him bigger. He's beyond. He's beyond. Sometimes we do do mistakes. We compare what happened to man and what is it that God is doing in that way. Mm -hmm. What is happening to man? We put our example of ourselves self, and put it as God. No, He told you, My way is not my way and my thoughts. So, how do you get the thought of God? Now, you get the thought of God through the scripture. My ways are not your ways, as heaven is far from the earth. So, my ways is far. So, God is beyond the way you think, God is beyond the man sitting on the seat that you are thinking. It's beyond. Look at it. It's all over. The, how can there someone sitting on one thing and the spirit cover the earth as the water cover the sea? The someone on the seat, sitting is, is here. Look at me. The one that is sitting on the seat is here in this church. He's here in that church downstairs. He's here in Africa. He's here in the country. It's too much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the thing is, the way you see things, the way you begin to manifest in your life. Hallelujah. So yeah. see God beyond. I don't know, he can, he can show you many things. He can come to you. He can speak to you just to relate to us as he came like Jesus, like Jesus on the face of earth to relate to us. Jesus is not man. He put on man to relate to us, just to relate with you. Because God is not God as a man. He has given the man dominion to rule. That's why you don't see spirit walking around. Any spirit you see walking around is the devil. Yeah. Any spirit walking around, as one spirit is running all over, that, that spirit just reports to you. Hello? Uh, That's why Holy Spirit, you don't see Holy Spirit running in the church. I don't see Holy Spirit jumping all over. Where Holy Spirit is side, inside of you. Praise the Lord. Uh, Holy Spirit himself, where do you want to live? Uh, yes! Because God gave his dominion to man, that man to rule upon the face of the earth. So he will never change us. 
He will never bend his will on that. That's why God himself became a man himself to do it. Because he has gave a man dominion to rule over the face of the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think you have a question. Who? Oh. Okay. So I was just trying to say something. What is that?
My way are not your way, I'm not talking. I'm not at all. If you are thinking of left, God is thinking this way. God is not your own time, but you have no time. Time never own in. Hallelujah. He created his angels. All angels want to be in us. We need to have created them. He created you. Somebody say, God created us in our own image. God is a spirit. You carry the spirit being to live inside the body. So that God's image in terms of spirit, not in terms of flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not in times of flesh, but in times you are a spirit being. The Bible says the spirit of God has made me, the breath of God has gave life to me. In times of spirit, you are created in his image. And you can't see spirit. Spirit lives inside your body. So God created us in his image in times of being a spirit being. The Bible says, and God breathed the breath on the man. And man became him a living soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know God, I don't know why I asked the question, but I just added it in my spirit for you. So how do you view the God? I pray that God will give you a revelation. Amen. Say that amen louder. Amen. As on today, God will reveal himself to you. Amen. More of God's revelation than the name of Jesus. Amen. Because when God revealed himself to us, he opened our eyes. So you will not be tricked with the gimmicks. There's no God. There's no scripture. All this thing is a lie. All this thing is a lie. But when God show up in your life, when God reveals himself to you, to be able to have clear understanding, you can't be deceived. Because the Bible says in the last days, even the elect himself. So, to all time, if God reveals to you, if you see a man, sister, it's okay. Continue seeing the man. Hallelujah. And if you see God in any form, that's beyond. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've, 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 there are many testimonies. Thomas speaks. 
I, I, I know, I, I know. I'm not saying God is not relating. But when God relates to me, it comes to my level. Hallelujah. It comes to my level. God always speaks to me. I always see black people, black people. It's only one day I experience a white person talk to me. And it's just one command. He never say it twice. I ask him again. Say, you are asking me again? I say, take this way. You are asking me again? And that would look like, I believe it was with Jesus. Because I've never seen something in my life before. I was praying in the afternoon, and I fell asleep. And I, and I saw that in my, that's why sometimes I walk in the, I used to walk in the mall there. Sometimes I go to that place, and I talk. You are the one that speaks to me in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Just one word. Just, not like the one that I see. I've never seen that before. One word. I was, I was praying for the rest of it. And I said, take this place. One word. And I said, oh, where do you say I should take? You are asking me again. I say, take this place. Praise the Lord. So let me begin to put that man in my place. That man, he comes to my level to relate to me. Praise the Lord. But the general consensus is Jesus is my No matter how God wants to you, God, Jesus Christ will come to anyone. He will come to anyone in any way to understand. And you will know it's Jesus Christ. Whether it's white, we know that Jesus Christ is from Israel. Yeah. If you know their color, mm -hmm. we know. So, the, the Israel is a center point for God to start his work. Hello? All right. He chose Abraham and he told why. Because Abraham was able to pass the message to his children. And that children able to pass it to the whole world with through Jesus Christ. We have more. So, I will not say this and that because many have been deceived. Is it this or religion? Is it? I hear a lot. Sometimes I just pull it up. I don't want to hear all this nonsense. That's why I pray that Lord will reveal Himself to you. Yeah. you know, I was talking to my wife. I said, Until God reveals Himself to you, that many can be carried away. Mm -hmm. Until experience the power of God. It's not this one we are talking about. Yeah. That until we experience the power of the Scripture, the Scripture will not make any change in your life. Or do you see that encounter of God, the encounter of God's power? This scripture will just be a book. And God wants us to experience it. God wants us to be able to hold on to this world to the point of death. Why the disciples were able to die for Jesus Christ? Because they have seen it. They told them, We have seen this man being killed. We see this man being resurrected. We see this man. We believe to a point of death, to the point of death. I never give up. I pray the Lord will reveal himself to you. Amen. Say that amen louder. Amen. In that area that you have been asking, where is God? In that area that you have been asking, where is God? I pray that you, God, will show up in your life. Amen. Say that amen louder. Amen. In the name of Jesus, a new beginning of a new fellowship, a new beginning of a new power, a new beginning of a new experience. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will show himself more. More, 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 more in your life, more in your own, more in your family, in the name of Jesus. The scripture will come to life to you. The scripture will come to life to you. In the name of Jesus. Listen, the scripture, the Bible just give us a glimpse of heaven. Hello. Whatever you want to say, whether it's phone or the, it's just a glimpse of everything here. A little glimpse. Paul went to heaven and said, What I saw, I cannot speak of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's why everybody was long for out of the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just a, a glimpse of a little glimpse. Just find a little glimpse of it. It's beyond. It's more than the glory of God. It's beyond. Why? The angels have seen God or oh, they will not worship him. It comes in a newness to them. Even though the angels have been with him, that's why they keep bow, pay only to him at all times. Because they have seen it all. Oh, what else does this man want to bring to me? Uh, you turn to blue. Uh, we have been seeing this blue all this while. But they are experiencing the newness of him every day. So they deserve the worship for them. They are bow at all times. The, the 24 elders. Bow every day before the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, whatever God appears to you, whether old man, 
whether as white man, whether as Chinese man, is coming to your level of understanding. But it's beyond. It's beyond. It's beyond. You see, as the water covers the sea, that's why the glory of God covers the earth. The, the glory of God covers his vast. His vast beyond what he can imagine. we help us in Jesus' name. Amen. That Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Our time is fast. I don't know where this way God wants us to go today. Hallelujah. Yeah. But you know, I don't know if you know today is the last day for your fasting and prayer. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. You, you are happy. Yes. But God told you that He's going to make a way for you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. One thing you just want to do. Hold on to Him. He is going to make a way. He owns the way we will stand. Let us put our trust in him. He has promised that he's going to make a way for you. The Lord makes a way when things there is no way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And don't, don't stop to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. That best pray. You pray before the Lord. And the Lord Jehovah God changed the story. Ezekiah also prayed before the Lord. And the Lord changed the situation. The Lord delivered him. Anna prayed, and the Lord changed the story of him. God makes a way. I am God. There's no one beside me. That's how great is your God. I am God, and there's no one beside me. What Satan wants to do is to frustrate you, to let you push you out of God, to push you away from God, not to see God as God, not to see him as a powerful one that can help you. Hallelujah. Not to see him as your Jehovah Jireh, that was your provider. Hallelujah. Not to see him, not to see him that he can do something for you. you want to see view of God that you are just wasting your time. But hold on to him. Hold on to him. He has promised that he's going to make a way. Praise the Lord. That Lord will make a way for your life. Amen. Say that amen louder. Amen. That Lord will make a way for you. Amen. He told us in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, fear not I'm with you. Do not be afraid, for I am God. He said, I am what? I am your God. He said, I will strengthen you and I will help you. Praise the Lord. And I will uphold you with my right hand. Praise the Lord. Right hand. Right hand of God. I'm going to uphold you with my power. Praise the Lord. I'm going to hold you, I'm going to uphold you with my with my power. Sometimes I think, I say, ah, how God, you know, it's not the same again. Who created God? You can you can't do it. I think maybe he has a family that the whole and the whole family that is the only one that can survive, so he carry power now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Sometimes I think like where well, before I say, ah, maybe all the everybody, the family died, and the only thing that remained. And now he carry power. But no, that's not the scripture says. Look, you don't know him. You don't know how he was. Yes, no one besides him is only one. So you can see it is beyond. You can, no matter how you want to put him, is when we get to heaven, he's going to reveal. There's no question. I'm going to get to heaven. I'm going to ask him question. Question that Bible says, as you see him, you're going to be like him. So all your questions right away, you have to get understanding. So I get to heaven, I'm going to ask God a question, what happens to me? Right away, when you see him, the Bible says we're going to be like him. Right away, you carry the understanding of him, the knowledge of him, because he's going to be like him. There's no question. Oh, oh, that's why I'm going through this thing. That's why I'm going through this thing. Okay, I don't know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He says he's going to strengthen you. He's going to uphold you. That Lord will make a way for you. That Lord will make a way for your life. In your place, He says He's going to do a new things for you. God promised that He's going to do a new thing. Now it is going to spring forth. Hallelujah. Do not perceive it. See it that it's going to happen. See that God can do it. Your disappointment is not the end. Hello. But God, when you think God disappoints you, God is doing something beyond what you are asking. Hello. I was listening to the testament of man. He said, I pray, I pray, I pray. And God never answered in that manner. But I look at the end and then, then I look at the story of that man at the end. He has the testimony. 
So would God ever answer without what he's praying for? They, they ask the rent, and they, they need money to buy that rent, and they pray to the last moment, and now he just pushed them out, out of the rent. And you see, God, he knows better. When God is not giving you what you need to, at this time, he knows, he sees. He never forget about you. He has a plan. How do you get to that place of that worshiping at the end? When you hold on to him. When you believe in him. He knows. Sometimes you want to feel like God don't understand me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to feel like God don't understand me. God don't really care about me. He don't know what I'm passing through. He has been here. Jesus Christ. And that's why he became a man to know what you are talking about. He went through everything that you are going through. Everything that you can talk about in life, Jesus passed through it. He has no money. People want to kill him. You say the truth, people want to destroy him. Hallelujah. He has no place to sleep. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was hungry. Everything you want to talk about, he went through it. He went through everything so you can be able to know what your position is. He's been there. Only to just put your hope. Your disappointment is not the end. God is saying he is going to cover your shame. He's going to give you beauty for what? For ashes. Hallelujah. So just put your trust in him. He's working on your behalf. He is going to make a way for you. Say that amen louder. I will make a way in the wilderness, a river in the desert. God is going to make things possibility possible. Put your trust in him. Put your trust in him. Continue to tell him. Continue to call upon him. Never give up. I say, even though they say the scripture is a lie, say the Bible is a lie, there's no God. I've re- my, me, I've resigned myself to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's to me. When I oh, this God, there's no God. There's no God. <laughs> Don't worry. Let me just die with this. I'll see. I will die with this now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've resigned myself to it. So whether you say it's, it's not true, whether it's nobody, it's written by man, all these kind of stuff, they're lying to you, it's other religion they brought to you, uh, 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 don't worry about it, uh, it's good for me, let me die with this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Resign yourself to the word of God. At the end there's no shame. At the end there's no disappointment. It's taking you far. It's taking you beyond. Hold on to your faith. Hallelujah. What I say is you hold on, hold on to your confession. Hold on to your faith in him. Those before us, hold on to their confession and they hold on to their faith. Hallelujah. Go and ask for more. Paul went through all kinds of stuff. He began to mention when he went, all things that he went through in life. He, 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 he. When you look at Paul, he went through a lot. He went through a lot. He, he says the, the tears of the, of the robbers. Of the, even the good, uh, the brethren, all kind of stuff, fire, thief, but he still hold on to his faith. I pray that your, the Lord will give you grace to hold on to your faith. Eh? Yeah. As you call upon him, the Lord will answer. Yeah. That God, in any form that is showing up in your life, it will manifest itself. Yeah. Say that, Amen. Yeah. Any form that is revealing itself to you, it will manifest yeah. in that name of Jesus. Rise upon your feet. Hallelujah. Our God is alive. Our Jesus is alive. Our God is alive. Our Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. He answered when he called. He said, Call upon me and I will answer. He's a living God that answer. He said, Call upon me and I will answer. Today there shall be answer to your prayer, sir. There shall be answer to your request, sir. No more deny anymore. No more deny anymore. The Lord will show himself to you. In a new way, the Lord will show himself. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear that amen louder? The Lord will reveal himself. In a new dimension. You begin to see him. In a new form. In the name of Jesus. Stronger. Mightier. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Victory shall be yours. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Open the Shabbos in the name of Jesus. The Lord will begin a new thing in your life, a new thing in your home. The Lord will lift you up. The Lord will make you a channel of blessing in the name of Jesus. Among your friends, among your family, your reproach shall be removed in the name of Jesus. Your disappointment shall come to an end. I don't know what I'm saying. I see a man putting on a, a woman's shoe. Everything that disorder, everyone will be aligned it again. Say that amen. Whatever that be in disorder in your life, everyone will align it again. It will align it alive again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your feet will be gone. Your feet will be gone. In the name of your expectation shall be granted. And we have mercy upon your life. Upon your heart. In the name of Jesus. And we have mercy upon you. We have mercy upon your life. Walk into your blessing. Walk into your glory. Walk into your future. You will sing for some of victory. In the name of Jesus. You will not be put down. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will send help to you. A pass of destiny. In the name of Jesus. A new ideas. A new revelation. A new ideas. In the name of Jesus. A new ideas. A new revelation. In your life. In your heart. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name. Our Lord will pray. Somebody give him praise. Give him praise in the house. Let us take what he come in and have. Let's die with Jesus. Father, we thank you to dine with you, Jesus. As we do this in remembrance of you today. We have a victory in every side. In the name of Jesus. All that is not of you in our heart, in our life. Let the blood of Jesus flush it away. In the name of Jesus. Let the bread of life, which is you, in the name of Jesus, be our anger in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me begin to hungry for your word in the name of Jesus. Let me begin to hungry for your word in the name of Jesus. You are the bread of life. Satisfy us to God. You are the bread of life. Satisfy us to God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Hallelujah. I want you to take it and give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. It's the flesh of Him that was broken for you. Let it come to life in you. Whatever thing that is not of God in your system, in your body, let it flush it away. He said, Do this in remembrance of me, what He has done. We remember Him for victory today. We remember for salvation today. We remember for open us today. He said, do this in a remembrance of him. We remember him for him. I don't know what you are remembering him for. Because he said, we should do this in remembrance of him. Look at it. So, uh, look at it. What are you remembering God for? He said, this, do this in remembrance of him for salvation. We remember, we do this in remembrance of you for that healing he healed before. Oh, yeah, yeah, my God. Oh, he must sing about us, Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We do this in the member of you. Oh, for our healing. Because you are healer. Thank you, Manasi Father. Take it and give thanks to God. You see, this is the blood that was shed for you. This is the blood that was shed for you. Oh, for the cleansing of your sin. We remember this blood for cleansing of our sin. For a new life, 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 strength, life. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Give thanks and take it. Begin to give thanks to God. Father, we thank you. That we have a new life today. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray where is needed in your life, where you need to be. I will turn your story around. Let Holy Spirit take you there. Amen. Can somebody say that? Amen. amen. Where you will be, people that you need, that will be of help to you. Let Holy Spirit take you there. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. let heaven connect you. Amen. What will bring an answer to your prayers? Let Holy Spirit bring it to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. men of honor, people of honor, place of honor that will bring answer to your request. Let heaven give it to you. Yeah. No more battle anymore. No more struggle. We are marching on. The church is moving on. In the name of Jesus, we are going higher. We are going higher. This year, you will surprise us. This year, you will surprise us. This year, you will surprise us. In the name of Jesus, you will complete us. Jesus, this year, you will complete us. This year you will perfect us and your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name, our Lord we pray. For the wonders of God, count 21. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's pray for Jesus. Let us put in mind our Bible study is still continuing, which I encourage everyone to join. You know, I, I begin to think about it. If you are coming to church, so let's come to church and do Bible study. Maybe nobody will show up. It is easiest and so convenient. Us just to have your cell phones and your computer to find church. Yeah. I mean, I will still manage to do church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, it's all, all these things that we are.